William Wordsworth stars in a brand new episode of the poignant drama Hurry the Surgeon tonight at 11. But first, the BBC's new production of Pride and Prejudice, starring Kara Knightley's sister Carla Knightley and another girl who isn't related to anyone famous. You're watching BBC One. Sister, whatever is the matter? I have today received three letters from our dear Mr. Bingley, each more puzzling than the last. Pray, read them me, my sweetest love, and together we may be able to unravel the mystery. Together. The first runs accordingly. My dearest one, I must be swift in writing you, for I do not have much time at this writing desk. As you know, I am on a trip to the Lake County. I was not aware Mr. Bingley was making any such journey. Nor I. It continues. On a trip to the Lake Counties, and yesterday I had all my funds stolen me. If you could kindly send fourteen thousand pounds... What, does he not have access to his own accounts? As I no longer have access to my own accounts. Please send any money you can directly to my private bank account in KwaZulu-Natal, Nigeria, and be sure to address it to Mr. Babatunde Dorabi. Yours, etc., Mr. Charles Bingley. I generally believe that a person who can write a long letter with ease cannot write ill, and yet... This letter is neither long nor well conceived. And I never once thought Mr. Bingley had been the darkest Afrique. Agreed. How could he have accounts with this Mr. Babatundi Durapi? Tis a puzzler of a question. Pray, what is his second letter, my Blossom of Royal Companionship? Jane? He says only Jane. Yes, he uses my personal name. It strikes me as heartily bizarre. Because it is heartily bizarre, my gleaming beam of familial charity. Something wonderful has happened. Right now, you are holding an entry opportunity for an all-expenses-paid trip to Brighton for you and one other person. If you are interested in this voyage, please send a reply which includes your name, credit card number, and approximate height. There is no more? No, it ends thus, with no final salutation nor words of affection. Jane, my clump of beauty and moral fortitude, I'm beginning to suspect that these letters are not from Mr. Bingley. However, before I expound further, allow me to read his final missive. I must warn you, it is most befuddling, and though I do not claim to understand its meaning, I fear it may be supremely vulgar. Thank you for your concern, my snowdrop of love and protection. Do you want to bang your balls off and never stop pleasuring the big curvy woman of your dreams, but find you can't keep up? Well, you're not the only man in the British Empire who feels this way. You see, Lizzie, I cannot understand this text's meaning. I'm not even a man. I do know it, my dearest princess of sisterly devotion, and this message has shown me exactly what I feared had occurred, has indeed occurred. Someone is using Mr. Bingley's address to swindle innocent victims. But how could they? Mr. Bingley's post box has a lock on it. True, true. But perhaps his fingers left traces on the lock, and a rogue then knew the manner in which to open the box. Or perhaps someone simply used many combinations until they stumbled upon the correct one. Or perhaps he uses the same key to unlock his post box as he does other things, like his desktop or his bird sanctuary. Oh yes, I had quite forgotten about his Twitter room. Jane, my sausage of sibling solidarity, I have a concept of how we may help Mr. Bingley. We can compose a letter to him, explaining what has happened, and request that he better secure his post box in the future. But who should we recommend Mr. Bingley hire in order to install protection on his post box? I know just the person. Father was telling me of a man in town who performs such functions. A certain Mr. McAfee. Oh, Mr. McAfee. I've heard he's quite the expert in post box security. Yes, and the first 30 days of his protection are free. <laughs> <laughs> No more jokes or anything. You, you can just go. I mean, there's nothing left. There's this table, but frankly, it isn't that interesting, really. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice table, considering the budget right. and everything, but um, it's not interesting. So, um, you can leave now, so... Go on. Okay, we're gonna...
gonna go. Okay. Bye.